terrorist raids on villages and the kibbutzim, or cooperative farms along Israel's frontiers, have been a daily occurrence for the last 20 years. But now, as if obeying a unified command, the attacks are intensified on all fronts. Bombings and incendiary attacks destroy the fruit of years of struggle against the desert. The die is cast. As in the days of David and Goliath, 3,000 years ago, the survival of a people is at stake. If I'm ordered to strike, I'll defeat the enemy on all sides. They've lost too much time, as if American sympathies were enough. For once, we're calling the tune. Right. Are the orders ready, sir? I'll be given orders to open fire, if Allah should will. So keep all troops at the ready. All units will be advised to maintain full combat strength. All right, sir. But in Israel, what is most surprising is the attitude of her people on the eve of what seems an inevitable catastrophe. Israel goes on with life as usual. People try to enjoy themselves. The beaches are packed as though there were not the slightest danger of war. The country demobilizes its army and sends her soldiers home, trusting the Old Testament teaching that success in battle does not only depend on the number of legions, but upon heaven. Perhaps the Israeli self-confidence is excessive. At any rate, it contrasts radically with the attitude of her enemies. Were you expecting this, Captain? No. Well, I didn't either, to tell the truth. Maybe the UN did the right thing for a change. They make mistakes too, don't they? <laughs> There's something phony going on. If you'd seen as much war as I have... You Pauls are all pessimists. I'll bet you any amount you want they call us back. The Arabs are on the margin. Quiet now. Boy, get it. Come on yeah, now. Come on. Head. Whoever gets the Dan Carmel tonight gets a double whiskey on me. Not me, brother. Boy, what a slipper you It's are. a long way to Tiberias, <laughs> and I've got a field to plow. And then there's his wife waiting for him. <laughs> yes, and then he's got to play his last game of chess, uh -huh. you see. Because tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and are you coming? You better not. He and knows what how? I do. I married his sister. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I could use a cigarette. Have you got one? You know, from tomorrow on, we'll have to buy them. If you were driving, I'd already be home with my girl. Isn't that right, Josie? The last one? And, and the next, next one! one. <laughs> well, me. I got mine! Yeah! <laughs> you sure have. She's right behind you. Okay, I'll pick you up about noon! Okay! Hi, Elon! Hi! Ciao! Come to my place. Well, Lila's not impressed by big hotels. Tell me, Rafi, do you believe it's over? I don't believe anything. But if they let us go, they must know why. Stop here. I get off. So thanks. See you at the next alert. Shalom. Bye bye. Shalom. Samuel! Samuel! Oh, it's you, sir. Welcome back. It's good to see you here again. How's it going, Samuel? Well, with the work suspended, I'll never see your building finished. You'll see it. You're not such an old man. No, Captain Rafi. At this rate, I can't last. I'll be pensioned off. I'll be gone. Don't worry about it. They're demobilizing. The others will be coming home soon. Demobilizing? And what about the Egyptians? Ask Moshe Dayan. He's the boss. This is Jerusalem, the Berlin of the Middle East. Beyond the wall, topped with barbed wire, lies the Jordanian sector. There's no electric current in the wire, but on both sides, everyone's nerves are at high tension, always on the alert for trouble. Sometimes the tension sparks a petty incident. 
Things go on like this, we'd better buy that garage in Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. I'll never leave Jerusalem. It's the same everywhere. There's no more danger in Jerusalem than anywhere else. Hey, soldier. What is it? Look what the Arabs did. Big heroes. Come with me a minute, Arden. Where? Don't tell me you go to mass these days. Let's go home. Oh, come on. There's something I want to see again. That's the trouble with you, Paul. It's your stubborn fanatics. And a religious fanatic like you is worse than an atheist like me. Ah. Uh... Well, Abraham? You bring me up here just to show me the panorama? I prefer beer. There's nothing better on a hot day than a nice cold glass of beer. Even if my heart is with God, it doesn't mean I've got my head in the clouds. Look, the wall, Arden. Over there by that mosque is the Wailing Wall. Ever since I can remember, we've been dreaming and praying to touch those stones. And ever since my father can remember. And the father of my father can remember. Always a dream. I don't want to die without having seen it. Do you understand me? You can pray against any wall that you want. You won't ever convince me, though. Thanks, Captain, and good night. Good night. Well, Captain, are we safe here? What do you mean? I want to know if I can paint my old jalopy yellow and put in new springs. They sent me to the canal in it the last time. First buy that paintbrush, then you're sure. Okay. Welcome back, Rafi. How oh, nice. How'd you get here? They send you home, too, to mobilize like the rest of us? No. I'm on duty in Tel Aviv. Sure good to relax for a change. Tired? Not because of the trip. What is it, then? Threat of war, my life, everything. And there's only one cure for it, to get away from here. I've decided to go to the States. All I have to do is put my signature right here. And that engineering firm will give me $2,600 a month. Well, what am I to do? What can I do? Play soldier every two months, dodge an arrow bullet every time I take a drive in the country. But, Rafi, you promised. Well, I guess I'm just not a pioneer. And I haven't got the stuff that makes a fighter. What do you want for dinner? When do you have to be back? I don't have to be back before tomorrow. Good. There's a night in between. Yes. That's why I'm here. We'll have another round here, please, waiter. Yes, sir. Thank you. You've spent a fortune, Elan, just drinking your lunch. Speaking about fortunes, how's your old man? Building boats. 
He's back in Japan now. I should see him later in London. Oh, no. You mean you're going to leave us, Elan? Well, it seems they don't need me now. Ah, there, I've got it. It's Cairo. I'm frightened. Don't worry. I think he just wants to make war. Not love. Tractors at the kibbutzim along the northeast frontier of Israel are provided with special cabs, not to protect the driver from the rays of the sun, but from the Syrian rifles and mortars on the heights overlooking the plain. The volunteers who work here are willing to risk their lives to transform the desert into a fertile land of trees, fields, and orchards. Be careful, Dahlia. Get down. Ah! Uh, they can't get the range. We don't have to worry. Uh, you never know. We're bounded on the north by Lebanon, on the northeast by Syria, on the east by the Kingdom of Jordan, and on the southwest by Egypt. And this is the Sinai Desert, and this is the Mediterranean Sea. Haifa is here. Don't forget its importance. It's the... Oh. Quick, run to the shelter, children. <laughs> Fall, Dahlia. Huh? You Arab dogs! In the lake. They've just been going after fish. Poor Isaac. I made the tank corps this week, and I'm already a sergeant, so what do you think about that? Hey, you don't mean you're driving those tanks now? Why not? Sure, why shouldn't I? No one here can drive better than me. You have a driver's license now. How do you like that? Let's try you out. Let's see who's chicken. <laughs> I have fresher ones in the tent. Let's see them. <laughs> Shalom, Daniel. Shalom, Uri. <laughs> That's some uniform. <laughs> Jonathan, this is Colonel Daniel, our chief. Shalom. Shalom. Any news? Yes. Yes, there is. I have some very interesting pictures. You might say they're priceless. <laughs> but all you have to do is rub off the surface of these pictures. And underneath are the microfilm copies of the Egyptian operational plans, as well as where their troops are deployed. But we don't know the hour of the attack. <laughs> Egyptian armored vehicles moving in the direction of Kusena. Can you tell what they are? They're T-54 tanks. The Egyptians have moved an entire brigade since this morning. 
Yuri must know this. I'll call him. What are their coordinates? 801-896. Where they headed? Toward Wadi Fran. We know the enemy is moving into position to attack in this sector. They think we're demobilized. Let's hope so. In any event, we must act quickly. At 0545 hours, Ard will attack the Egyptian airfields with his mirages. Yes, sir. There should be a hundred MiGs on the ground at Alare Shalom. Uri, during the air attack, you must move your armored divisions into the Negev Desert. Yes, sir. According to our information, you should meet two Egyptian tank squadrons. The third armored will bypass any centers of resistance and push through to Gaza. Yes, sir. You'll be joined by the 2nd Brigade. If you succeed in avoiding contact with the enemy, we should have them in the bag. Right, sir. Where do we stop? At the canal. Even if we can cross it? That's a political decision. It doesn't concern us. What about our troop strength? Call up the reserves and cancel all leaves. Broadcast the order in code to report immediately to all bases. Darby! Go ahead! Ready! Ready! Don't know chess, that's all. Ah, go garage at your service. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He's coming. Shalom. You're going to war, Abraham. Now, I am afraid. Well. We'll finally know how this thing is going to end. Hello. Shalom, Mata. Alex, we're here. Shalom and goodbye. I'm not home to anybody. Haven't you heard the radio message? I don't own a radio, and I won't have one in my house. Not ever. The I cat understand. shows her claws. Oh, in that case, it's different. I'll only be a minute. Oh, with my gun. Beret. <laughs> ah. G goodbye, my sweet. Be a good girl and water the geraniums for me. I'm counting on you. Take care of yourself and write. I'll write too. Bye. Shalom, Gabriel. Shalom, Milan. I hear you're buying the drinks tonight, so I brought Say, a few of my friends along with you. It'll only take a second. Oh, so come on. Just a second. I'm sure it'll... Ah, this is more like it. That's it, Gabriel. Drinks for everyone. I never go back on my word. 
On the other hand, you'll have to drink up in a hurry. Why? Are you closing? No, Elon. We're leaving immediately tomorrow morning. The cat shows her claws. Well, drink up, girls. I think we've had it for tonight. Jeep's working out. Yeah, I seem to be okay, but the engines need to be tuned up a bit. Yeah, well, my Jeep's acting up a little. Take a look at it, will you? I don't want any unpleasant surprises later. Check out that radio, will you? That's what I was doing. Okay. According to the papers, those hundred million Arabs are surrounded and persecuted by two and a half million <laughs> Israelis. I'll take that. Well, boys, clean her up and oil her parts, will you? As you say, sir. Lila, have you checked to see if they sent the plasma? The brigade surgeon wants to know. Yes, everything's ready. This is for you, a patient you might like. Rafi! Hi. All right, everybody out. Leave them alone. Come on, girls. Let's go and have a glass of tea. <laughs> Bye. What will happen this time? We'll fight. That's all. We've no choice. When will it start? I don't know. When the Arabs are ready to attack, it'll begin, I guess. You mustn't think too much. Why do you advise that? Are you afraid? Well, sure, we all are. Well, why did you stay? I thought you had decided to go away. Well, right now. I think there are other things more important. I know America won't run away. It will always be there. Yes. Waiting for me. For us. attention. Just for a moment, this is our plan of action. At X hours, the forward observers will move into position at the heads of the tank columns heading toward El Kundela. Abu Ekula and Kusena. They will proceed ahead of the tank columns in these areas here. They'll maintain constant radio contact. Once the enemy is sighted, the patrols will report on identification, direction, distance, and all relative information. Now remember, you forward observers and reconnaissance patrols are the eyes and the guides of our armored forces. The information you report and the fire you direct will spell out the difference between victory and defeat for us. Thank you, and good luck to you all. Josie! Lila. What are you doing here, Lila? I wanted to help, and I can see you this way. Well, we'll make an appointment. At the Suez Canal. The first one who arrives there will wait. And if you don't come? If you're captured and can't come? Impossible. All I do is say, sorry, but I've got a date with a beautiful girl. To the Egyptians as well? Sure, why not? Josie. Sometimes, wars are won by accident. This time, we might lose. You're getting pretty serious all of a sudden. Josie, this is the first time I felt serious about anything. I love you, Josie. But think of all those people fighting in the desert. Who's going to meet with them? I know it won't be that way with us, but imagine how many will never get to their appointments. I wouldn't worry about it. I know it would be all right.
tank column is moving out Let's now. Let's go. Much schnell, there. Speed things up. Come Watch on. Out. Anchor two to anchor one. Communications check. Step Over. Up. This is anchor one. Communications check. Okay. Make a check with command tank two. We'll check in a second. Over and out. Anchor one to command tank. Communications check. We're ready to go. Over. Command tank to anchor one and anchor two. Hear you loud and clear. Now go out and find them. This is it. We wait. You ready? We separate here. Tank. We're on Hill 23. Command tank to anchor one. Message received. We'll deploy turret down behind you. Call for fire when needed. Over and out. You made any contact yet? You see anything? They want to know if we've seen anything. Watch out. No, nothing yet, sir. Over. Well, open your eyes and keep them wide open. Hey, 
Okay, here we go. Anchor two to anchor one. We've sighted them. Where are they? Three miles south of us, about 40 Egyptian tanks in two columns. There they are. Anchor one to anchor two. Anchor one to anchor two. Anchor two, over. Forty T thirty fours. Forty T thirty fours. Three miles south. Three miles south. Two columns. Two columns. Left flank in movement. Left flank in movement. All tanks in action. All tanks in action. Command car in middle of column Command one. Command car in middle of column one. Give us their location, Command two. Fourteen. Fourteen. Three two. Three two. Seven. Seven. Repeat sector. Repeat sector. Fourteen. Fourteen. Three two. Three two. Seven. Seven. Mediums and heavy. Medium and heavy advancing in attack formation. Two four. Two, four. Three, one. Three, one. Two, two. On target. Zero on target. Sector twelve. Sector twelve. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Right six. Right six. Range one thousand. Range one thousand. Fire for effect. Fire for effect. Sector two one. Sector two one. Two one. Sector two Three tanks closing in on your left. Three tanks closing on your left. Moving in fast. Range 300 yards. Anchor two to anchor three. Four tanks moving in fast. Range 300 yards. Too, Alex. Okay, we're pulling back too. Let's go.
mechanic? Ours is wounded. Yeah, what's wrong? We don't know yet. The damn thing just stopped. Okay, let's take a look. It was nothing but a leaking fuel connection, nothing to it. it should be all right now. Better not run at full speed, because it might shake loose again. Get a connection to fuel tank. Yeah, yeah. Now hurry up. Come on. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Let's get out of here. Move out. Out up. Come on. Violinist ask for. It works. I have a wounded man here. Can you hear me? Anchor one to anchor two. Hold Can it. you hear me? Not as bad as it was. We'd better disinfect it anyway. We are in trouble. Would you mind giving us a lift? Message received. As soon as we check with command tank, we'll head straight for you. I don't know our position exactly, but you will find us about a couple of miles south of the wadi. I'll hold on while you ask the commander. Anchor two to anchor one. We're coming. Good. Well, we've got them on the run. Our tanks are doing all right. Although at one point I thought they were shooting at us, didn't you? Uh, hey. I'm sorry, it's my stomach. I feel it right here in my stomach. It's like a hand gripping my guts. Fear, I guess. Two hours. Two hours of passing this bloody war. Here we wait. Let's hope they come. With Josie driving? He's like a homing pigeon, that boy. Give him a motor and he'll do the rest. He'll find us all right. Oh. <sighs> this looks like him now. Here he comes. Well, we made it. Glad you're here. Took you long enough. Well, it's not like driving to the park in Tel Aviv. How do you feel, Alex? How's the war going? Well, if it goes on like this, we'll be at the canal before you know oh, it. It's a sure thing with Jesse driving. You have to see it to believe it. But if he's driving, I'm going to walk. I'd say we're in a bad way. There's no gas left. How much more you got left? Mm. 
Well enough for ten miles if we don't run into trouble. Uh, we'll just find ourselves a gas station, then we can make it. Very funny. Very funny. We already have one man wounded, and we haven't even started yet. We can refuel and pick up a new first violinist. If I can get this damn thing to work again. Let's see. Anchor one to club. Anchor one to club. Can you hear me? Club to anchor one. I hear you. Over. I've got a wounded man, and I'm dry. I'm about 15 miles southeast of Gabel Libni. I can make it to the road. Okay, we'll send out a cop there, over. Shalom. Okay, Jossie, let's start moving. We can find them. We'll find them, all right. Hey, look! That's real service, huh? You said it. Hey, look! There they are! Look! They're waving at us! Yes! Serious? No, I don't think so. It's his leg. It's not broken. It'll be all right. Sure glad you're here. So are we. Come on, Lila. Hi, Alex. I'm sure glad to see you, girls. I'm beginning to feel better already. Well, let's take a look. Oh. It was high time. Now the battery's dead. Okay, boys, let's get out of here. I'm doing all right. Comedian. Looks to me best he won't. <laughs>
What do you plan to do? Alex can't go on like this much longer, you know. I hope you and Lila catch up with your swimming over the weekend. <laughs> we both like the beach. But this. <laughs> Why'd they have to send you? Couldn't they find someone else? You take the rabbi back there. He doesn't belong in the army. He plays it more like a chess game and just as bad. <laughs> you listen to me. Chess is something that I can afford to lose. The outcome of this battle depends on Almighty God. This beach is great, you guys. But where's the water? Well, isn't it better that we're together if things are bad? Well, we are together. Things are bad. I should have gone away, Aviva. You mean that? I did. But not anymore. I'm okay. Won't you bet on me? Or are you afraid you might lose? <laughs> no. You're a champion. Shock absorbers are all gone, Alex. Say, Rafi, why don't we stop here? Okay. At least we can get out of the sun over there. Shade. See that his head isn't too high. Better send two men out to reconnoiter. Okay, Rafi. You two, take a look around. There may not even be a desert right in the area, but be careful. Yeah. So tell me, why did you leave England to wind up in a place like this, Elan? Huh? I'm Jewish, and I wanted to learn Hebrew. It's just an idea. Oh, it's a long story. There's no sense in boring you with it. No, it's everybody's got a long story except me. What do you mean? All I have is a pair of blue jeans and a trial when I get back. What trial? A stolen car. Playing chicken. <laughs> Down! Phew. Well, this is where our stroll ends. Okay, we'll go tell the captain. Right. you know. Russian missiles. They're setting up a SAM-2 missile base. It's a missile base and a defense platoon. We knew the Russians were sending these missiles, but we didn't know they were operational. 
Well, if we're going to do something, we better do it fast. How many men do you think there are? About 30 or 40. If we want to attack, we got to take them by surprise after it gets dark. Aside from Zeef, who speaks Arabic? I could say a few words to them. Our men are really beating them between Rafa and Canyonese. <laughs> we really got them by the throat. So it seems. They're beginning to crack already. Yeah, so it seems. And the news from Qasem is good, too. <laughs> hmm. Most of the news that we get from Cairo has this characteristic, Amr. It's always overstated and not too clear. What about the missiles? Oh, they'll all be ready before dawn, Colonel. Those Zionists poke their noses out of their pig pens. I certainly hope they'll poke them in our direction so we can roast them. At least for now. Our zone is a bit off the main line. But if they do come, it's more than likely they'll put up a stiff fight. Nothing ever happens the way one expects it in war. You don't believe we're winning, do you? I don't have much faith in propaganda. We're here to use these missiles, and if Allah wills, we'll win this war. Four machine gun nests. One on the left, one on the right, and two in the middle. If we can take the two outside ones, we'll have them on the crossfire. Abraham, Arden, take the left one. Zeef, you go with them. Josie, Elon, take the right. The rest of us take the bunker. I wonder what's going to happen now. They'll make it, you'll see. Think of yourself now and don't move too much, or you'll start hemorrhaging again. This stupid wound. It could happen to anybody who meets up with shrapnel, so don't complain. I wonder what's keeping them so long. Don't worry, Lila. Our men are able to take care of themselves. It's awful here. Then why did you come? I didn't want to. I was afraid. Because it's madness, Aviva. Killing so many people. This is war. You'll have to get used to it. I'll never get used to it. You come out with these pat answers, but you're not fooling me. You know just as well as I do that we'll never get out of here alive. You're all just as frightened as I am. Lila. But isn't it terrible, this killing each other? That one man would kill another man. It's so inhuman. It's awful. I said, stop it, Lila. I should tell you how my mother and my father were killed. But this isn't the right moment. Come on, <laughs> calm down. Yeah, she's right. But remember this. When you're dead, you're dead for a long while. So be careful.
We'll both sneak up from behind them. You cover us, pilot. Yeah. Let's right. go.
قول يا دفعه ما عندكش كبريت اسمع ما تفهمنيش انت مش فاهم اطرش مالك اسمع رد عليا كمان انا يروح Surrender. You're our prisoners. Watch them. Find girls and gold in Tel Aviv. Nasser promised them. Poor kids. We keep this up, I'll have muscles like Mr. Universe. What do you think those missiles cost? Ten thousand dollars? More like a hundred thousand. They drive you crazy thinking about what a war costs. Think what would happen if we got a hold of money like that. Hey, look at the flag. Looks great. What about the Egyptian planes? They've been removed. How about the Israeli planes, though? Hmm? I had a boyfriend once who could hit a balloon at 600 miles an hour. Ah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Rafi! What is it, Lila? I found their medical supplies. Good. I only found Russian vodka and pate de foie gras. That isn't much help. War is like that. We know where we start, but we never know where we might end up. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go, Rafi? They're all intact. Our boys could use these. We can't leave them. Now, the only problem is the Egyptians will hit us with everything they got. It's more than likely. I know I would do it. What else did you find? Only a Chinese bazooka and 300 rounds. Okay. Watch everything. I'm going to the bunker. Okay, Rafi. With you for a crutch, I don't mind being wounded. <laughs> There's Rafi. How's the leg? Better. I bet you wish you knew how to operate those babies. We could turn them around and fire them at the Egyptians. Eh? <laughs> Avi, Lila's found something she wants to show you. 
breeders of corruption and of wars. That's what you are. Instruments of imperialism on our ground. Your days are numbered and you know it. You know something? I must say you're a philosopher. I'll think about that. All right, Josie, that's enough. Do you think the same way? Is it of any importance what I think? I've been captured twice. At Castel in 48, and at El Arish in 56. Here I am for the third time. Each time with more powerful weapons. <laughs> for me, it's probably the last time. But you'll never have peace. Oh, yes, they will. We're going to wipe Israel off the face of the map forever. Okay, okay. While we're waiting for all this to happen, let's start again. Your name's al -Qadi. You're a colonel, missile division. You're in charge of... I'm Colonel al -Qadi, 13th Missile Division. You know very well, Captain. That's all I have to say. Survivors say the base was discovered purely by chance, General. It wasn't captured by chance. It was nighttime when they attacked. Our unit was outnumbered. We have to recapture the missiles or destroy them. Who do we have available in the third sector? Third sector? Third sector. Lieutenant Murthuk. He's nearest the area. It's where we positioned his armored platoon. Maybe he can handle the job. May I suggest him? We must take steps and we must do it now. Fast. Think how we'll look if word gets out that we lost those missiles to a handful of men. You didn't have so many pieces left. Are you insinuating that I would cheat at chess? Why do you say that? But of course you're not trying to cheat. I just meant that in Jerusalem you'd lost over half what you got on the board. Like all Germans. But we're elated. Mm. It's too hard to argue. You know, it's been written in the Bible that it's better to be the persecuted than to be the persecutor. Yeah, but with a Bible in the left hand and a gun in the right, huh? <laughs> yes, it's a Russian jeep. 2,000 miles, practically new. You might convince Rafi. Then we could leave. If Jossie brings us back, we'll be in camp in an hour. Before any of us, we must consider the missiles. I'm sorry. You probably don't realize how important they are. Important. Baloney. You're moralizing again. Anyway, what good will those missiles do us when we're all dead? So why don't we realize we'll all be killed as soon as they get here? It's better to stay here at the campsite. If we stay at the base, we've at least the possibility of defending ourselves. But out on the dunes, who knows what'll happen? as you say. How can you explain? Rafi, they're here. Lock them up. Come on. Go with Alex. 
ammunition. Let them get closer. Hold your fire. down. Aviva, you're an angel. How's the shoulder? Hmm. I'm all right. Is that so? Oh. Go on, I'll take that. I hope they don't want their missiles back. <laughs> yeah, and especially with us as a target. Fire! Yes, sir, that's service. If that's what they want, we'll show them, right? Get down, you fool. You want to get killed? It's up to you, the machine gun can't stop them. This thing is Chinese, I only hope it works. You did it! Good girl! <laughs> Great shot! Now we're going to fix the other one. the game at last. What are you saying? You won't die, Arden. I wonder if there's anything he would really like. If I get the morphine? I don't believe as you do. And I don't care what you say, but I've tried all of my life to live honestly. You're a good man, and if there is a God, he will listen to you. But even an atheist prepares to go to his death. But please remember, kiss the wall for me, Abraham. Take the gun, you handle the belt. Drop his head. Yeah. Too late, Lila. Arden's dead. Let me help you. Eden, you know how to play chicken? No. But I've always wanted to try it once. Well, here's your chance. Let's get the Jeep.
way to do it. How about that? Gabriel, where are you hurt? Where is it? of you both. How do you feel, Elon? Well, sir, I'm pretty badly hurt. Anyhow, I've learned to play a new kind of game. Come on. It's on the house. The army still provides three square meals a day. Well, I hope it goes out of business pretty soon. Three wars in less than 20 years is more than enough. Yes. It's enough to get on your nerves, isn't it? Waiting, waiting, ever knowing what's going to happen. Whether you're going to win, whether you're going to lose. I think we should thank God that we survived for these two days. Three days? All right, three days. What's the difference? I'm sure hell must be like this. Don't you agree? You're kidding? Will you give me you a hand? You could still get a lot worse. Well, I hope it ends soon. I want to live now. To love. To have children. I want to have a family, but I don't want them to grow up afraid. Are you afraid? Yes, afraid. For you. Listen, Lila. What is it? The really important thing is not how long we live or if we die tomorrow. What's really important to me, I find, is knowing we're together. I don't know what will happen tomorrow. You mean you never even think of this? And us? It isn't that. I think of you always. I think of you all the time. And yet the future doesn't mean anything at all. No. You got the transmitter fixed yet? Uh, it's, it's not that simple. But if I can get this transistor fixed, we may get the news. Well, I certainly hope you get it fixed soon so we can find out something about how this damn war is going on. It would be nice if we could send for help in case we needed it. How do we stand on ammunition? I guess we have enough. Better check. I want to be sure. What about those two guys? I think they should be tied up. We're taking a chance. That's not necessary for the moment. In one or two hours, we might be in the same position they are now. Perhaps. A la Karib. Look, I don't trust that Major. No. If the Colonel gives me his word, they can have freedom of the camp. You have my word, Captain. Good morning, Colonel. Oh, good morning, Captain. How's your wound? Uh, it could be worse. Well, but for many, it's worse. War's a hell, Captain. All war's a hell. It's man's great curse, I'm afraid. Yes, well, wouldn't you say we bring it upon ourselves? Yes, I think you're right. Why don't we try and avoid it? Don't you think that we Israelis have a right to exist? All people have the right, Captain. The proof of it is not based upon centuries-old claims. If we were to do the same, we could claim half of Europe. Historically, you're right. It's based on law, actually. Moses, Christ's, Mohammed's, Solomon's, Abraham's. If moral law were imposed today, you would never have fought with us. It's our rightful house. We're not foreigners. 
Granted. What about those who took care of it for you? Don't they have the same? Yeah, the Arabs took care of it. Why, it was nearly all one great desert. When we returned from exile, we made it into a garden again. Hmm. You were desperate, as you say. We were desperate, too. This war cannot be won. For what reason? Why? I'm a soldier. I think like a soldier. You're a soldier, too. You understand. I'm an engineer. And if it hadn't been for this bloody war, I would have gone to the States. The States, to work. But still, Israel is where I want to live. That's how I feel about Egypt. Maybe one day the Hebrew Shalom Aleichem and the Arabic Salam Aleichem will become interchangeable for us. Nothing will remain in the desert. Neither victories nor defeats. We have a common enemy then. And it's about time we started to fight it. Together. Stragglers. Maybe they're coming to turn themselves in as prisoners. Well, we'll soon find out. Josie, fire in front of them. Maya, I'm in Fadlak, Bismillah, Maya. Maya, I'm in Fadlak, Achan. They want water. Well, do we have enough for ourselves? Yeah, sure. Maya, I'm in Fadlak, Maya, I'm in Fadlak. Give them four cans, but tell them we'll shoot at the slightest move. Say that we want to play it fair. Okay, Rafi. El Maya Gaya. Mahade Shetara, Yalla, Yalla. Hey, pilot, give me a hand. All right. Why 
Wait, don't fire. Ya Gobana, ya Khawafin, Madi go tell them. Gain to tell them Maya, I did Maya, Chahatom. And to the Tumetan, Wamma Hamza, and to come Salah. Hey, tell them. Gain to Shatom, I did Maya, Gain to Amelue, the Harb, Mishlab. I did Maya, I did the Tulu, Matan to Luhom. Hey, I did the Shabayan Maya for Miha, Batelom, and Mot, and to I did Mot to Mat. Khawafin, ya Klab, ya Wazim. Get some sleep, Josie. It's my turn. How is he? If you mean Raffi, he's tougher than an olive tree on Mount Carmel. And Elon? He's delirious with a high fever. A cigarette, Josie. Huh? I'm all out. Well, we'll just have to wait. Yeah. Guess so. If we can succeed in stopping the infection, he may just have a chance. Let's hope so. You better put that boy back on his feet, girls. It's not just because his father's rich, you know. There's another reason. It's because Elon's the best friend I've got. Hey, I just heard. We've won. We've won the war. We've won. We've won. We've won the war. The war is over. We've reached the Suez Canal. The war is over. We've won the war. We've won. We're on the road to Damascus, you hear? Jerusalem is free. We've got the Jordanian sector. It's all over. The war is ours. The Egyptians are surrendering. Almighty God has blessed us. The holy city is united. Our people are going mad with joy. All Zion is rejoicing. God has made his face to shine upon us. After 2,000 years, we have the wall again. In less than a week, we have beaten three armies. We must give our thanks to Almighty God. He has spared our sons and daughters. Just listen to these reports. It's the beginning of a new era, I tell you. General Yuri's columns continue to advance in the northern sector, encountering no resistance. A combat unit has entered Jericho, and for the first time in over 2,000 years, Jerusalem is entirely in our hands. General Diane and his staff have just made a visit to the Wailing Wall, where hundreds of our faithful have been flocking to pray. Reports of military victories on the Syrian, Jordanian, Lebanese, and Egyptian fronts keep pouring in. A great wave of hope is sweeping over Israel. A hope that after so many struggles and so much suffering, the hatreds which have surrounded our country for so long will finally disappear. A hope for justice and for peace with our neighbors. As the echo of guns and bombs disappears, the Star of David is flying on the banks of the Suez Canal. From the largest cities to the smallest kibbutzen, our people pay solemn tribute to the men who worked, suffered, fought and died for the liberty of our country. The state of Israel is now a reality, a reality which our enemies must recognize. We can only pray that they will. <laughs> They call 
called it the Six-Day War. But wars, whether they last six days or six years, whether they are won or lost, have rarely resolved the conflicts of ideas and of passions which cause them. On the contrary, war leaves years of bitterness and hatred, a fruitful soil for the seeds of future wars. The desert will remain as long as the seeds of hatred are sown. May the children of Islam and Israel sow the seeds of the olive of peace. They have a common enemy. Why do they not join forces and fight it together? Thank you.